This is the reality, and we should assume, and businesses should assume, that these attacks are here to stay, and if anything, will intensify. Whether you're private sector, public sector, whatever, you shouldn't be paying ransomware attacks because it only encourages the bad guys. If one person at one desktop in the operation center of a pipeline uh, system bites on a, on a phishing email or opens an attachment they shouldn't, you know, then, then we're sunk. Part of our vulnerability on cybersecurity is you're only as strong as your weakest link. And so we've got to make sure there are good cyber practices uh, all the way down to the smallest player, uh, any individual company, because what Colonial showed us was a cyber attack on a private company had national implications. But I do think we need to have a, a talk as an international community with these countries, like the Russians, for instance, to say, uh, if criminal uh, ransomware activities are coming out of your country, why don't we have intelligence cooperation, law enforcement cooperation to shut it down? If we have a incident reporting requirement yep. mid attack, and I give the company some limited liability protection, and that needs to come into the government, but also share okay. with the private sector, Microsoft, Amazon, the, crowd, uh, the cloud providers, right. the other cybersecurity co companies. We need to have a public-private response team to this, and that's gonna require that mandatory reporting. And the only way you can begin to get on top of this is to know how pervasive the problem is, try to develop a pattern, right. uh, this uh, crypto uh, currency, uh, not, uh, not allow that to be just in behind the scenes in the entire system.